Woman kept as a sex slave by Poland's Josef Fritzl had all her teeth and both of her lips removed, leaving her with just a hole for a mouth as part of the captor's cruel experiments. This man took those weird turn a woman into a sex doll hentai mongos a little, a little too seriously. Because we, we've definitely talked about this on stream before. The woman, said to have been kept as a sex slave, locked in a barn by Poland's Josef Fritzl, was horrifically mutilated with injuries, including the loss of both of her lips and teeth. The disturbing new details about the suffering of the woman alleged to have been held captive for four years by a rapist monster emerged from the medical reports of the doctors who raised the alarm. Her alleged captor, uh, Matthias Jacques, 35, was charged last week with mental, physical, and sexual abuse after the woman arrived at hospital to be treated for a dislocated shoulder. And her account of what happened during her years of captivity suggests Jacques was carrying out experiments on her. The woman, also in her 30s, identified only by her first name, Mal, Mal Gorzada, told a fellow patient how she had been repeatedly raped and tortured while locked in the outbuilding in the village of Glogau, West Poland. Man, looks like a thumb. When examined by doctors, they found her brutal treatment had left her with such extensive facial damage that she had lost all of her teeth and had no lips, while the rest of her body was covered in a variety of abrasions and scars. The woman had previously been admitted to hospital on several occasions during the years she was held captive, even giving birth to a baby, but she was understood to be too afraid of her captor to tell anyone about her horrific plight. And it was only after she arrived last week with her face so badly disfigured and began to confide in other patients that doctors treating her finally alerted the authorities and had a full investigation launched. That's a little crazy that it took this woman losing her teeth and lips for the doctors to be like, hmm, maybe there's something weird going on here. The baby she had was immediately given up for adoption, apparently against her wishes. And after Mar Gorzada finally revealed her horrific situation, Jacques was arrested and is now being held in Glogau prison while investigations take place. Sources close to the investigation, uh, while the woman was in hospital, she began talking to another patient about what had happened to her. They were speaking in confidence, but the patient alerted the doctors about what had happened to her. She is in a really serious condition, both physically and psychologically. From what we heard, the girl does not have lips now because of everything he had done to her. Her face is covered in bruises and she just has an open hole where her mouth is without the lips. The woman said he, Jacques, was doing some kind of trial on her. He was experimenting on her and he was trying out different things. On Monday, she was transferred from a hospital in Glogau to a specialist hospital. We have no idea where, but we believe it's a psychiatric hospital. One of those who saw her last week said that although only in her 30s, she looked well over 50 due to her physical condition. Uh, this is the, the mother, I think. Yeah, mother of the alleged kidnapper. Uh, the father of the of the kidnapper. Weird, weird barn. As well as the shoulder and pregnancy resulting in a baby in 2021, she had also been taken to the hospital on other occasions, both with a broken arm and broken leg. When asked why hospital officials did not raise the alarm sooner or question why she was being admitted with so many injuries, they said Malgorzada had refused to contact social services. Iwa Todrov, spokesperson for the Glogau District Hospital, told local magazine Onet that they have reviewed her case history in recent days. She said the woman came to us with injuries indicating that violence could have been used against her. Could, could have? Could, could have? Each time we had a conversation with her about it, and each time she swore no one was using violence against her. She categorically refused to notify the services, the spokeswoman added, claiming the hospital's hands were tied. I feel like this does an, 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 an um, like, crazy disservice, right? Like, if, if a woman is exhibiting incredible signs of physical abuse, I feel like just because they refuse to speak out, you should probably still launch some sort of investigation. Because a lot of them are too afraid to speak out because they feel like before help will get there, because the government is inefficient and slow, their captor will just have enough time to just murder them, right? Like, they are, they are in explicit danger. So they have a reason to clam up and say, I don't want to speak about it. Hire a detective. That would be a mandatory reporting thing in the States. You don't know what they have? Yeah, right? 
They didn't actually know 100% sure, but they should have alerted authorities. Yeah, there's, there's definitely, like, at least from an American perspective, like, that's crazy that they did nothing. You just got here. Are you in danger? Yes. Yesterday, Mail Online visited the village where the victim was allegedly held for four years. The barn was divided in two with a small fake window with lace curtains on one side. Though the window, uh, through the window, all that can be seen is another wall, which is said to have been filled with insulation and soundproofing. Tall conifer trees are planted so the barn cannot be easily seen from cars passing on the road, while a sheep skull lies on a ledge on the building. At the back of the barn, a dirt track leads out to a forest where neighbors said Jacques would be seen at night, sometimes walking through the woods with a flashlight. Another barn, falling apart a few meters from the other, would sometimes be covered in curtains at nighttime, with neighbors speculating that that is where the victim was washed with a hose. The pair reportedly met on a dating app in 2019, starting a relationship together with a Malgorzada Jacques. With Malgorzada, Malgorzada, there should have been a comma, Jacques took her to a disused animal barn on a farm where he lived with his parents. See, you never, you never go to someone's residence for like the first few dates, man. You don't know who they are. You don't know what they're going to do with you. Only meet in public, man. Only meet in public. Oh, there's, that's a very clean skull, all things considered. The victim was subjected to rape beatings and would be hosed down with water whenever she failed to meet her alleged abuser's demands, it has been claimed. Despite the barn being located on a quiet residential street in Gaiki, with Jacques' parents' house and a neighbor's home just a few steps away, his father and mother claimed they never heard any screams. His father, Josef, burst into tears as he told Polish media outlet Onet, My wife and I really didn't see any girl there. It's a shock for us. It's impossible. It couldn't have lasted years, maybe a few months, but not that long, because it would have been revealed sooner. And this just reminds me of, uh, oh god, I can't remember her name. That, that Japanese woman who was like a horrific abuse story as well. And that was going on in the home where the parents lived. And the parents were just like, we didn't know. We had no idea. I was uh, I, d I don't believe any parents when they say that. Yeah, Junko. Uh, Junko was her name, I'm pretty sure. Junko Fur Furuda. Furada? Furuda. That's a very, very scary story, honestly. They knew? Yeah, I, I don't believe that. Absolutely don't believe that they didn't, they didn't know. Unless she's too terrified to scream or never getting the freedom to scream? Come on, neighbors. Well, they said that there was soundproofing in the barn. Uh, but, like, there's no way. There's no way that he completely soundproofed the entire barn. No way, dude. Especially if he, like, took her out of the one barn and put her in the other one to, like, hose her down. This man's gonna soundproof two barns? That, mm -hmm. His mother, Sophia, who claims she did not know anything, told Crowd Media, There was never a situation where I even thought that someone might be there. My husband was in the hospital in uh, Zilona Gora for two and a half months, and our son went to see him. If she was there and knew that he was leaving by himself in the car, why didn't she shout? Why didn't she knock? This uh, the fucking victim blaming? Oh, she had her lips removed, woman! He removed all of her teeth! What do you mean? Mrs. Jacques later told Gazeta Wyborska, uh, We didn't go in there at all. There was nothing there at all. So why bother? Oh my god. Mrs. Jacques later... Oh, I already read that. Next door neighbor, uh... Jigeto Zizstawa... I'm gonna butcher all of these Polish names. I'm so sorry. Whose garden runs adjacent to the barn told Mail Online she also heard no noise but thought Jacques was a weirdo. My husband works out here in the garden all the time and he never heard anything, she said. If you look through the small window at the end, there are really thick walls and then inside there's another wall. Because of the trees surrounding the barn at the front, I couldn't see anything and had no suspicions. I couldn't see anything and I couldn't hear anything. The police probably know there is some sort of soundproofing in there. Jacques now faces up to 25 years in jail in a case that has been compared with one of Austria's most notorious criminals, Josef Fritzl, who kept his daughter captive for 24 years, fathering seven children with her. Poland never invented the vowel, it seems. If you were this woman, after you recovered some, you'd get away from that village. Everyone there sounds like an awful person. Yeah, right? Uh, Jagieto Zizdawa doesn't sound like a real Polish name. And you are Polish! The fir her first name, the Jagieto, sounds like an Italian dessert. Can we just execute this dude? I wish. I don't, I don't know if Poland has executions, but like... I feel like that's the thing, the right thing to do. You hold someone captive and you mutilate them and rape them for four years? Like, uh, pretty much, uh, you should die. Uh, I don't feel bad saying that. They swapped it. The Zlawa is the first name. There's no way. What? They do not abolish the 1997. That's unfortunate. That's real unfortunate. 
This dude's getting life. Uh, he shouldn't get life. He should get the death penalty. But unfortunately, apparently, they don't have to have that. Here's hoping Vlad the Impaler does the right thing. Make self-deletion due to shame great again? True. True. Not the Batman type. The Punisher type. Just joined the stream and now you're scarred? Welcome! This is what we usually talk about. <laughs> can't rehabilitate that kind of behavior? You really can't. You you really can't. And I can't imagine, right? Like, I have I have been in abusive relationships, but I've never been with, like, an actual fucking monster who does, like, that level of damage to someone. So I can only imagine just how terrified that woman was at all points in time. And, like, even if he was leaving in his car, like, there's gotta been a way that he was keeping her locked in there that she just could not escape from. And even if she could, the thought of being caught and what he would do to her if she was caught leaving is also terrifying, right? Because, like, you, you have the psychological damage of you hear him leaving with the car, but is he really leaving? Or is he just driving out to the street and waiting to see if you try to escape? And then if you try, he's going to come back and he's going to catch you and he's going to do worse, right? Like it, uh, the, the psychological damage in here is, is something I think people really don't understand. If the Polish life is the same as the German life, it's a uh, maximum 25 years. And that's if there's no special case of severity they're deciding upon, then you can get held for life in Germany. Uh, this, this guy, life is too good for him. Honestly, you could or could you even hear the car? Cars are pretty quiet and soundproofing works both directions. That's that's also possible depending on how how well he soundproofed it. I could I could believe with good soundproofing that the neighbors wouldn't know. Not the parents, though. Would not trust the parents saying that they had no idea. Did he turn the lights in the barn off at night? Oh, uh, true. True. If he if he at least turned the lights in the barn off at night, you know, she didn't really go through that much trauma. He can serve life locked in his rape barn. True. Genuine question. Does that country allow chemical castration and would that prevent whatever drove him to do this? I don't know. I mean, if they if they don't have the death penalty, that could that could be something to consider, I suppose. There should be an arrested at 8 a.m. trial at 12, time? sentenced and executed at 4 situation. You, you would hope so, but uh, terribly inefficient bureaucracy, as it were. Vector253, thank you for the prune. Thank you, thank you. The parents never noticed him bringing in all the bricks, concrete, insulating materials. Hell no, nah, true. The chemical is an hydrochloric acid. At least she'll get a great stand-up routine. That's also just like, if this man is ripping out all of her teeth and also mutilating her on top of it... I don't, I don't know. Maybe I don't know enough about soundproofing, but like... Man... Your thoughts using people like him for test subjects. I mean, they're not really human at this point, are they? They're more monster than human. Chat, please, I beg. Perceive warnings. True. True. No way parents didn't know or even have a hand in it. Yeah, 